Let's get to Chesterfield Township where Tim Pamplin has spent the past hour plus documenting the flooding and frustration in one neighborhood. Tim. It's absolutely awful out here, isn't it, Kimmy? Some residents just arriving home here to this mess. I spoke to some residents earlier there saying the rain came down torrentially for about two hours, didn't stop, and when it did stop, this was the mess they were left with. Take a look. Drivers taking their chances this afternoon, making their way through all these flooded streets in the Brycewood subdivision. 21 mile, 94 area. The storms arrived around about one o'clock today, lasted a couple of hours, moved on, but the damage was done. Residents, understandably, are very upset. Absolutely. This is terrible and disgusting for the city to let this happen and get away with this and all the property damage and to have them tell me that Oh, their pumps are working? Well, obviously their pumps aren't working. Mike wasn't the only one calling authorities. About a half dozen residents I spoke to just recently said they've made calls as well. The police are not coming out to block the roads off. And the authorities say that the pumps are all in working condition. For one resident, the afternoon storms meant an afternoon off work. And as I sat here watching the rain pour and pour and pour and pour, and this is filling and filling and filling, I couldn't get out. So literally, I took the rest of the day off due to the weather. I could not get out of my driveway. Yeah, so we make the best of any situation, but this is a terrible situation. They spin around here. You see residents have got the towels hanging out. Water is now getting inside some of these homes. They're mopping up the best they can. As for the pump situation, I think I heard Brian say about three inches of rain an hour. I don't know if a pump that can handle that, but there you go. That is the scene right now. Up in the Brycewood subdivision, Tim Pamplin, back to you guys Indeed downtown. Indeed a mess. Okay, Tim.